Hey guys, welcome back. Said I'd be back, so here I am. Um, just I'm wearing something today. I'll be back with a video on that too. I really like this one too, but I'm not telling you what it is. Um, this is the one in my last video. I said that I I'm probably gonna wear it simply because I did manage to get two and a half compliments on it. Um, but it took a while. A while wearing it and a while for it to dry down to to get me there so i wear it but not a lot um and this is supremacy off non supremacy in sense um again this is these are just a day with so there's no comparisons and stuff like that no big presentations or anything like that um so Um, oregano. Oof. Oh, I don't like that at all. I don't like it on me. Um, really bad on paper. It's not near as bad on skin, but on paper, that's all you smell. Um, so I wore it. Uh, this is one I wore another. I wore a full day and then a half a day. I swapped it out, changed in the evening with that Amiralu. That's why I'm kind of doing these two together, because they kind of, the ones I did two days each, with two wearings, um, wearing and a half, I guess. Um, so, first wart was way too many sprays. Again, I went with four with this one. Uh, two in my moisturizer, boom, boom, way too much. All I smelled for pretty much six seven hours was mostly that oregano yeah no compliments on it as a matter of fact i had one person tell me i probably shouldn't wear it again um that it wasn't very nice so i'm not the only one um <laughs> but in fairness being the professional that i am and not really ever really wanting to judge something just off of wearing or doing it once. I decided I'll wear it again the next day. Because I'm a sucker for punishment. And that's what I did. This time I went with two sprays. Two or three. No, two sprays. Um, and this is a case of less is more. Any more than two sprays, for me personally, is too much. This is another powerhouse scent. Very powerful. Um, where that oregano was still there and still dominant through a good two hours of that scent. Um, and it's starting to get what I get on my skin with two sprays now. Um, there's this slight creaminess and sweetness. I uh, made vanilla maybe or benzoin or amber, but a slight creamy sweetness and a lot of smokiness there's a lot of smokiness like it's not underneath but underneath all that oregano and smoke is this softer more subdued sweet slightly sweet vanillic overtones i don't know if it's vanilla like i said it could be something else a benzoin or something amber but it's this soft sweetness and that part of the scent is beautiful absolutely beautiful love it took a good three hours for me to get there with it because for the first two to three hours i can't remember really in my head exactly how long but it's, it's it's in between there so we'll go with two and a half just to just to be safe it was oregano mostly just smoky oregano like somebody was burning oregano over a stove burner like left it in the frying pan too long with a little bit of oil and it just burned smoked and everything that's what it smelled like to me. That's what it still smells like to me. I'm sorry. I know a lot of you people love it. I can't stand that. But, said a couple hours in, that oregano really does die down quite a bit to the point where it becomes the background player to the smokiness and that underlying sweet, other spicy, because there is a few other spices in here, um, but mostly a, a smooth, creamy, sweet, vanillic like scent 
smoky and delicious and gorgeous. Just every, even every now and then after that, I'd still get a whiff of that oregano every now and then. And I'd be like, Oof, yeah, that's why I don't like it. But it's not that I don't like it anymore. I like it. It's just not anything. I, I, I have a real hard time getting over that oregano. I'm assuming it's oregano. I think it's oregano or, or sage, one of the two, or a combination. I can't really. Anyway, that, you know. Some people love it. They say it smells great. Touch of class. I get sage dressing. The stuff a turkey's ass with. That's what I get. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, that was it. Performance. Uh, through the roof. Even the two sprays was, again, a 10-hour scent. Um, not quite as powerful as the Alamaroud. It was about nine hours. Eight and a half, nine hours. It's, it became a skin scent. But it was. I'll still give it the 10-hour because it was still there without having to dig. But realistically... After about seven hours, you could reapply. I will no. I already got past that. Open it once. I'm not doing it again. But you could if you want. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So, if you don't mind the smell of oregano, uh, this is definitely one I'd say test if you can. I mean, it is only $30. I think it was $25, I believe. And quality-wise, like the performance, the, the, the smell, the... Uh, the, the richness of it, I definitely say it's worth that. Uh, for me, I'll never buy it again, um, unless something changes. You know, over a year or so, if it marinates in its own juices and that oregano dials itself back, then maybe because it's it is a nice scent underneath all that. Very nice scent, gorgeous actually, and that's what I like about it. But it takes, like I said, two or three hours to get there, and then I'm never ever truly there until about the six hour mark, till really all that oregano's gone. <laughs> Um, and don't smell like onion and sage stuffing anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's it. Um, not, uh, probably a lot of people would like it. I don't. So anyway, compliment factor, not very high at all. I've got two and a half compliments on it. Uh, the half one was the uh, girl saying, well, I like the smoky part. And the other two were just kind of like, it's it's okay that's okay um that was it so maybe not the best for that but if you love it please wear it uh i'll be back with a review for it sometime full review all right guys peace love be good to each other